Hello everyone, my name is Ankush Koyal. I'm Senior Technical Account Manager at AWS. Hi everyone, I'm Nishant Kumar and I'm a Senior Product Manager at the AWS Virtual Private Cloud or the VPC team. In today's video, we will explore how Amazon Q helps you to troubleshoot network-related issues by working with Amazon VPC Reachability Analyzer. Earlier at a reInvent 2023, we launched Amazon Q, which is a conversational assistance powered by generative AI that helps you to improve your productivity and build applications faster. In this specific video, we'll talk about one of its capability where Amazon Q will work with the Amazon VPC Reachability Analyzer and how it can help you to troubleshoot your network related issues. And we'll give you a quick demo. To start with, Nishant, can you give our viewers a little bit high level overview of how Amazon Q works with the VPC Reachability Analyzer? Yeah, sure, Ankush. So before I uh, get into the how of uh, uh, Amazon Q helps with troubleshooting network connecti relate connectivity related issues, let me briefly talk about like how and what is the motivation behind this capability. So first and foremost, like one of the common feedbacks that we hear from both application developers as well as network teams is that as they build uh, as they build applications on AWS, it's imperative and it's very typical that they have multiple VPCs that would be spread across multiple accounts, AWS regions. And so one of the challenges that people face when troubleshooting network connectivity related issues is that getting all of the information in a timely manner can be time consuming because because you have to look through many resources you will like you can have multiple resources within the vpc so you will prefer to look at the route table configuration the uh, security group related configurations and it can become very time consuming and the challenge is that when you are dealing with issues like some network downtime or your application latency high application latency time is of essence. So the idea or the thought process was how can we use some of the recent advances in generative AI to help our customers solve some of the problems. So at a high level, what Amazon Q does is, and obviously we'll look more into it in the demos, is that whenever customer asks a connectivity related question, so for example, you ask a question like, why can't I reach to the internet or why am I not able to SSH to my EC2 instance? Amazon Q first makes, uh, detects that question and realizes that, okay, this looks like a network connectivity related issue that can potentially be solved using our existing capability, Amazon VPC Reachability Analyzer. And then the large language models or LLMs look at the customer context and try to make an inference and under make an inference about what that issue might be related to so for example in the question that i was saying that hey why am i not able to reach to the internet the llm understands oh okay this is related to the internet so probably a resource that has a web server or an instance with a web server tag is probably where the issue might be happening and then the uh, then amazon q works with amazon vpc reachability analyzer to identify and uh, detect uh, the connectivity path and if there are any issues in that connectivity path. So for example, as the issue could be as simple as a small mistake in the route table configuration or a small mistake in the security uh, group configuration. So it will help you detect that issue. And once you have identified that issue, it will pinpoint that specific security group, for example, of where that issue might be. And then once uh, you once you identify that issue, you can go make those changes, come back to Amazon Q, and then again validate to see that your changes are actually working now. And one of the other things that I do want to talk about uh, this capability is that we understand that typically when you are troubleshooting these questions, you may not always land up with the correct answer in the first go, and it's obvious that you would ask follow up questions. So for example you have a scenario where you uh, where the where amazon q returns an analysis which is what you were looking for but probably for a different instance that was chosen so you could simply just then ask amazon q to run the same analysis but on the in, uh, but on the instance of your choice and it will go and take a look at the 
and it will run the same analysis for you for the instance that you have selected. So I think next, Ankush, what would be great is if we could actually walk our viewers through the uh, demo. Right. So I'll do the demo and then it, it there it will show you that how this particular feature works. All right. So for this demo, we'll use this architecture where I have production VPC, development VPC, and central egress VPC. And my all internet related traffic from production and development VPC is going via my central egress VPC. In this architecture, we are encountering two issues. The first is that my instance in my production VPC not able to connect to my RDS instance. The second issue is these instances in production and development VPC not able to reach to the internet via central egress VPC. So next, I'll go to my AWS console and use Amazon Q to troubleshoot these issues. All right, so I logged in into my AWS console and will use Amazon Q. You will see the small icon here on the right hand side of the screen. We'll click here and I'll ask a question here. Why my production instance is not able to connect to my RDS instance? So the moment I give the question, it identify that there's some network connectivity issues going on and you can use VPC reachability analyzer, which now works with Amazon Q. Let's click on the preview experience here. It will use the same question, what we asked and try to identify why a production instance is not able to connect to my RDS instance. So it may take a few seconds. And you see that it say that the production EC2 instance is not, is unable to connect to the RDS instance. That's what we want to know. And it identified that what is my instance ID and the RDS instance name here. And it finds out that there's a security group which does not have a egress rule because of that you're not able to connect. Uh, this EC2 instance is not able to connect to my RDS instance. If we scroll down, we got the whole path detail as well, that what all hops is taking from my EC2 production instance to my RDS instance ENI. And if you open that particular security group, which is highlighted, go to outbound and you will see here that we don't have any outbound rule which is allowing this EC2 instance to connect to your RDS instance. So you can add that rule, regenerate that finding, and after that, you will be able, to, or your instance will be able to connect to your RDS instance. So the next question we need to ask Amazon Q is regarding our second issue, where our production instance, our development instance is not able to connect to the internet. So let's ask this question. Again, we found that it find Amazon we finds out that it's a network related issue. And again, it tells the VPC reachability analyzer works with Amazon Q. And we can use the preview experience here. Again, it will use the same question and try to identify what issue going on by using the VPC reachability analyzer. Here you can see that after performing that analysis, it found out that two reasons. One of those that there might be the route table issue where there's no route for the internet gateway. And if you go to the particular route table in the path detail, and this is the route table in the central egress uh, TGW route table. And we can see that there is no route for the NAT gateway. So only the local route is there and another one sending traffic back to my transit gateway, but there is no route to send the traffic or internet bound traffic to the NAT gateway. So that's all for the demo. I just want to cover these two use cases. I want to show that how Amazon Q is easy. You can just ask a normal question to Amazon Q and it can use VPC reachability analyzer to identify or to help you to troubleshoot this network related issues. So that was the quick demo on Amazon Q helping you out to troubleshoot your network. So one question comes to my mind, Nishan, that 
how this is different from our native reachability analyzer? Yeah, uh, that's a great question, Ankush. So, uh, one of the uh, some of the key differences between reachability analyzer and the network troubleshooting feature that Amazon Q uh, available via Amazon Q is first and foremost this capability is currently in public preview and available in the U.S. East North Virginia region. Uh, the second thing is that this is right now uh, available only in the AWS Management Console. And uh, the other th key thing to keep in mind is that today the network troubleshooting available on Amazon Q supports a subset of the uh, resources that is typically supported by our native uh, reachability analyzer feature. So please check out uh, our documentation on Amazon Q network troubleshooting to so that you are aware of all the supported resources. And finally, the reachability analysis uh, that is uh, shared or that is captured in the chat interface is available to access up to 24 hours or if you decide to clear the chat session using the start new troubleshooting uh, tab. So with that, another question comes to my mind, Nishan, that we are dealing with the customer data here, right? And customer always want to keep their data secure. So how or what we are doing here to keep the customer data and information secure? Like like you mentioned that it will be calling the LLM. So how how that how they can make sure the data is secure and not been stored there, right? Yeah. Uh, another great question, Ankush. So uh so just to give you a little behind the scenes of how we are accessing the large language model. So what we typically do is that we are using Amazon Bedrock to access the large language model. So all of the inherent security benefits that Amazon Bedrock provides is available to us. Uh, besides that, any of the conversation data that is available uh, that, that uh, customers have, we are not using for any training purposes. It is not uh, shared with anyone. It is just within the AWS and then uh, lastly, we only we do not look at that data like it's a opt-in model where customers may choose to share their data via the feedback mechanism. And even when they share the data using feedback mechanism, what we use that is only to see if there are any technical issues that might be resulting in the challenge or the feedback that customer shared with us. And then we use that to fix it. And that too, we uh, store that data only for a limited period of time to complete the uh, troubleshooting process. This concludes our today's video. Scan this QR code to learn more about Amazon Q and how it can help you out to troubleshoot your network. Thank you so much for watching.